Hi there, everybody. Morning. It's We're on a um, circular. what day is it? It's Monday. Oh, well, date uh, 22nd of February. James is going to take me on a surprise route. I wasn't expecting to do a walk today, but uh, tell us where we're going. We're going to do a heat and more circular. Let's do know this. Where I'm going. St Paul's, been here before. Yep. Here's our soldier again. This church was consecrated on the 25th of January 1877 by the Lord Bishop of Manchester. And this is the War Memorial. This is part one of the wall. Happy days. Over there is the Reform Club of Heat and Moor, a very grand building. That is where people get reformed or um, formed again. So we're about to approach the old Lancashire and Yorkshire Bank because we are actually in Lancashire. Well, we would have been place. until 1974. Yeah. So, Ooh, above this skip! Screen, above this skip, the Duke, I mean the skip. And the is that what we're clothes. looking at? It's the emblem of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Bank. Excuse me, I need to take some water. It's um, a cricket and um, uh, a duck mm -hmm. and some reeds. Right. It is now the Cheshire Wedding House. Right, as you stand by the Shaw Road here. We missed something, well we haven't missed it, it's here. Memory of Jim Barnes. Now, Jim Barnes was a guy who campaigned to get the curbs lowered for wheelchair users, such as what you see here with these little knobbly bits. I don't know what you call them. One of my favourite television series in the whole world is Men Behaving Badly and their pub that they went to was, well not this one obviously, but The Crown. Do you like Men Behaving Badly? Tony yeah, and Gary. Yeah, like. Pokoshevsky mate, tell me about it. Pokoshevsky is run by Poles. Unfortunately it's not part of the walk so I can't actually tell you a lot else. But it does do <laughs> well, you said breakfast. there's a picture of... Um, there's a picture of Lenin in Lenin. there that I've sat under. Happy days. I mean, that's Lenin, not John Lennon. Oh. Now we're on Derby Range, which is home to possibly the oldest chip in the UK. Oldest the seashell. chip in the UK? The seashells on the seashore. And these are pretty cool, with little lion heads and a nice coloured door. Seashell. The seashell, seashell chippy. oldest chippy in the UK, I reckon. Could be. Happy days. A funny thing for Polish people visiting England is when they see the word pies, like what you can eat, well, pies is Polish for dog. So they see shops um, selling dog meat. I don't think so. I think they do understand enough English to know that they are not dogs. Apparently Heat and More Gentlemen's Club was on the left, but that doesn't look anything like it. The white render building? Well, that, maybe those then. I said to James today, we should have done some challenges on our walk. Something daft like, do the whole walk on a scooter or do the whole walk with a Scouse accent. But we've not had time to prepare that. I was going to do some little random challenges in a bag and we'd have to pick one out and... <laughs> there you go. Casa well, de Moor. We're in a Victorian arcade of shops. A similar example can be found in Chalton. I think the one in Chalton might be a bit nicer than this, although it is a bit longer. Victorian. Tell us more. Focus on the clock for a bit. Because oh, that's what? The clock? The clock, which is wrong, as usual which says Town Bar, which is where Casa de Moor used to be called until about two years ago. I remember going to the Town Bar, I think. It's so really what, good. Tell me really more good. about the Moor Club. Um, I don't know much about the Moor Club. I can't tell you more about the Moor, sorry. <laughs> I can tell you that the Elizabethan was on BBC News this morning. Given that we've not got anything to see until the Heaton Chapel Station. This is like in two minutes anyway. Uh, let me just show you the National Wet... National Westminster. <laughs> National Westminster. National Westminster, Nat West Bank. Nat West Bank, yeah. Just James's down. Bank. Yeah. There's a load of new buildings here. Yep. The only one that I knew was the flower shop. There we are, Heaton Chapel Station, mate. Been here a few times. It opened in 1852, which is quite late for a British railway station. What's so special about the booking office, did you say? Well, it's just quite ornate. Closed. Got a little hoop shop yeah. Very nice. Heaton Chapel and Heaton Moor Station. And you've got the Victorian canopy stairwell. Now you'll see that there, but you'll see that also. Yeah. That's the old girls' school. Really? That girls, girls' music school. Music school. Music school. Well, so when you get to the edge of Edgerton Road North, that's south, the train regional. The regional train. That's the crew to Manchester, that Northern. one. That's... Northern. Northern Manchies. Yeah. So there's Heaton Chapel Station. Yeah. 
once that train leaves, it should reveal a sign saying Heaton Chapel and Heaton Moor. We on saw the platform. that on one of our walks. Here we are, Heaton Chapel. This is, now, what I don't understand about Heaton Chapel Station, oh look, there's a new smart card reader. What I don't understand, right, you've got two ramps on the same end there. You've got your Victorian stairwell and your ramp under the road bridge there. This is where we ended our video, where we walked from Piccadilly to, well here, Heaton Chapel. <laughs> Do, 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 do. On va aller tout droit, puis on va tourner à droite sur les nouvelles maisons. Uh, we're going to turn right into the new housing estate. I remember coming past here years ago when they were building this. They were still building it when I moved yeah. here five years ago. I'm sure the old school used to be here. It is. It's the old Peel Moat School. Look what we have. The story about the town. Le Twingo. It's got a French reg as well. C'est marqué Ile de France, alors c'est oh, Paris quoi. Paris. There's an old series from uh, years back called Un Gar, Une Fille. It's a comedy. It's about a couple. Um, Jean Dujardin, famous French comedian, and his Mrs. Alexa. Um, it's funny, they're always like, arguing and stuff. And then there was another series, what was it called? Camera Café? Uh, Guys going up to the coffee machine and. It, it was funny, anyway. So we're going down this posh road now. To be honest, some of these houses are only about two years old, I swear, especially the ones down the back. Aren't they nice? Spring is springing. Definitely is. Mate, let's go on that little swingy, wingy, wingy, roundy, roundy, roundy thingy. Come on, Come on James, you get yourself on one end, I'm going on the other. You sitting on it? Voila. Give it a little wipe. Get myself on it. Patrol Victor. Oh, what are you doing? Is it meant to go up and down? Yes! Oh, for God's sake, I'm getting sick. <laughs> Woo! Oh. <laughs> With my friend and the park. We are, we're friends. <laughs> oh, God. Woo! Well, that was fun. <laughs> Two big kids. Je veux pas revivre ma jeunesse. Yes. I had my childhood for a reason. This is my adulthood. We don't go on swing. He says that. He still plays with model railways. They're professional. <laughs> Not like stupid swingy thing. A gauche, l'école primaire. To the left, the primary school. I'm just translating James's French there. Saves me putting subtitles on later, you know. So I'm just on the golf course, which has been here for since eternity. Obviously closed Hitting at the minute due to construction. Club. Yeah. <laughs> We've found another park. He's found Hi. the slide. I'm going to go on the slide. Right, should we have the fire brigade on standby in case you get stuck? <laughs> he said I've got a big bump. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> wow. hey! It was like when I went on that thing in, um, where was it, Witness? You know, when I went on that zip, that, that ah. small thing, you know. I felt a bit nauseatic after that for about 10 minutes. Buckingham Road. I know this road well. What's the name of the park? Eaton Moor Park. park. Yeah. Eaton Moor Park, as he said. Oh, what's Eaton this? Park. Sir Thomas Thornhill ah, Sham. That's it. That's what it told you to film. Yes. Thomas Thornhill Sham. Woo, 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 woo. So here we are. Eaton Moor Park. Ah, there's um, something a bit more poignant coming up. As people will know, there was a very, very, very tragic terrorist attack at the Manchester Arena about four years Ariana ago. Ariana Grande. That's an Ariana yes. Grande concert. Now, even though Ariana Grande is not particularly our thing, we do our hearts off to go out to those and the families of those who perished that night. Now, here is a bench dedicated to one of those who sadly lost his life that night, called Martin Hett, a resident of the Heatons. It's a nice little park, this, mate. They <sighs> have the summer festival here, obviously not last year because of COVID, but there will be food stalls. A tree that has been uh, formed into the shape of a woodpecker or kingfisher Kingfish. or something. I was going to say kingfisher. Yeah. India's best beer. What are you doing, James? I like to rest on the laurels. <laughs> All right, the walk's nearly done. <laughs> As a kid growing up, we had one of these trees in the back garden. I used to call it like a monkey tree because it's well hairy. Flamingo! Flamingo, rhymes with Swingo. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. oh, are we going Flamingo. through here? Yeah, come in, come in, come in. There's a plaque somewhere. They've got 
leeks, um, box trees, and uh, yeah, it's all very nice. Let's get more field nice. cottages. These are all the old ones. It's one of the few cars with three seats in the front. You don't have many of those these days. There you go, Cecil Kimbrew founded MG Cars, MG sports MG cars, cars, lived here. Well, the last point of interest on the walk is the Scout Club, which might be the oldest in the country, but might not be. A bit like the Chippy. On that note, we will say goodbye and thank you for joining us on this impromptu walk, See which wasn't time. a part of the ring. See you Whatever. later. Thanks Au for coming. Revoir.